I'm Mike Hart. Here's a look at what we're following on this Wednesday. New developments in the mass shooting at a 4th of July parade north of Chicago. The prosecutor says the suspect has confessed during an interview with police. This comes after officials announced yesterday a seventh person has died from their injuries. That suspect firing nearly 70 rounds into a crowd of parade goers, injuring more than 30 people. Investigators claim the suspect, Robert Cremo III, was then contemplating a shooting in Madison, Wisconsin, and was driving there when he changed his mind and started heading back. He's now been charged with seven counts of first-degree murder. Authorities say he planned his attack for weeks and carried out the rampage dressed in women's clothing. Investigators do believe he did this to conceal his facial tattoos and his identity. Officials say the 21 year old passed four background checks before he bought the high powered rifle that was used in the attack. During today's bond hearing, Cremo was denied bail. His arraignment scheduled for August. If convicted, he could be sentenced to life without parole. Right, let's switch gears now, bring in Veronica Morley and get a check of that midweek forecast. Hey, good morning. Well, we are hot and hazy this week. Unfortunately, a heat wave headed our way heading into this weekend. Things will really start to pick up. We also have a wildfire burning up north and unfortunately with these gusty winds, we're expecting to see some of that smoke blowing through into our areas. It's going to keep us a little hazy throughout this week heading into this weekend. As far as our temperatures, we're seeing those 90s early on, but we are going to pick up into those triple digits as we head into Sunday and then on Monday seeing 103 for our high. Our mountain communities Lake Isabella, those 80s and 90s for most most of this week, but you will also start to see those triple digits as you get into Monday and Tuesday. Tatchby and Fraser Park, fortunately much cooler than the rest of us. Those 70s and 80s to start off, possibly seeing some 90s heading into next week, but again, not seeing those triple digits anytime soon. And that's a look at the stories we're following right now. Don't forget you can get breaking news, weather and traffic anytime, anywhere by downloading our free mobile and tablet apps.